Hi, I'm Emily Key. I'm a history and government double major, and I am a social media intern in the admissions office. Hi, my name's Rachel. I'm majoring in psychology and minoring in linguistics, and I am a tour guide with the admissions office. Hi, my name is Matt. I study history and government here at William & Mary, and in the office of admission, I serve as the continuous education officer for the tour guide program. Hi, my name is Ava Barnes. I am majoring in international relations and minoring in German, and I am a tour guide. My favorite memory from William & Mary is definitely joining the Crimdel Criers, which is an all-gender rockapella group here at William & Mary. I joined because I had a sorority friend that was a member first, and I decided to just give it a go and go for it, and joining was the best decision I ever made. I met some of my favorite people here on campus, and I've just had a really amazing time singing and having fun with them. One of my favorite memories from my freshman year was at Yolog ceremony at the end of the semester. I just kind of remember how like festive everyone was and I just remember kind of, you know, filing into the the Ren courtyard with everyone and, and just being so excited, to, you know, to have my first Yule log. And I, I remember when we were doing the sing along to let it go that year, I just remember like just looking over at all my freshman homemates and just kind of being like, oh my gosh, like I made it, you know, like I like it was a very like, wow, like I'm, I'm a college student moment. My favorite memory from my time here uh, was definitely Yule log freshman year. It was just so much fun to at the end of that very very first semester, celebrate all my accomplishments with all my friends, get some free hot apple cider, sing some songs, and just have a really nice sentimental moment before the end of the year. So my favorite memory of attending William Mary was actually this semester when um, during my last tour, a ton of my friends met me at the end of my tour on the other side of the Wren building and brought like a bouquet of flowers and a bottle of champagne for me to pop to congratulate me on my last tour because being a tour guide has been such a special experience for me doing it for about two years and it was just a really nice way to celebrate my time with the admissions office. My favorite professor is definitely Dr. McCartney, who is a NIAD professor at the College of William & Mary. So NIAD is the National Institute of American History and Democracy. It's kind of like a sub-program in the history department. She's just been absolutely wonderful teaching me about material culture and public history, and I can't wait to continue my studies in public history. One of my favorite classes I've taken here was definitely Psychopathology with Dr. Madeline Labella. I also do research in Dr. Labella's lab, so she's definitely one of my favorite professors I've had here. And another favorite was literacy and language development in exceptional populations with uh, Dr. Raymer at the School of Education. That was really neat because we basically spent the whole first half of the class learning about literacy and language development. And then we actually got paired up with an elementary school student and got to tutor them as part of the class, which was a lot of fun. My favorite class that I took here at William & Mary was public history. It was a course on basically how museums operate and how we take what we know about the past and present it to modern audiences. And it was just so cool to take a really interesting class in the Wren Building, which was a historic space, and then have fascinating discussions but get to go right down to Colonial Williamsburg and see world-class professionals putting that theory into practice every day. So my favorite class at William Mary was actually my architecture class. So being an international relations major, I didn't have a ton of opportunities for me to like work with my hands and everything. So being able to take architecture was a great way to spend three hours uh, every other morning um, during the week to just be able to work with my hands and create, you know, a physical manifestation of my own creativity. And I really enjoyed that. My favorite professor is uh, Professor Amy Oakes. She is actually an international relations professor and she's also my advisor. So when I first came here, she helped me, you know, pick the first classes for me to take, um, really helped me navigate that whole experience. And then as a senior, she actually helped me decide what jobs to apply to. So she's been with me from the beginning all the way to the end and she really just advocates for her students like no other. And I really enjoyed being a student of hers. <laughs> I chose William and Mary for the people. I heard that it was a wonderful community and I definitely was looking for uh, joining a close community and I definitely felt like I found that here. William & Mary was the first school that I toured and I had my tour here and it kind of checked all the boxes on paper. Like it was kind of a medium sized school. I liked the location. Um, it had great research programs, which I was interested in. But I was kind of looking for that like feeling that everyone talks about when they talk about choosing a college. Um, so I toured some other schools and then I kind of realized that I was comparing all of those schools to William & Mary. 
So I'm kind of like, okay, maybe this is that feeling that people are talking about. My senior year, I did another tour here and I had a great tour and I was walking around campus after the tour with my mom. We were walking around and we got lost and we're, you know, kind of standing on a corner looking at the map. We're very visibly lost. And a student comes up to us and kind of helps us out, gives us directions, chats with us for a little bit. And as she was walking away, my mom just kind of turned to me and she was like, oh my gosh, Rachel, like the people here are so nice. Like you have to come here. That just kind of clicked for me that I really felt and could kind of see that there was a really special sense of community here that I wanted to be a part of. I grew up in New York State, uh, so about nine hours away uh, by drive, and I'd always known about William and Mary. Colonial Williamsburg was one of my favorite vacation spots growing up, and so little by little I came down here to look at the school and I was just struck with the sense of community. Uh, I toured a bunch of schools and this place really just stood out in my mind. It's a beautiful school, there are great academics, but really what set it apart for me was the people, and that everyone was just so passionate and kind and a little quirky and fun. And that's been my experience for all four years here, and it's been something that I really treasure. So I uh, wanted to come to Blue Mary because I initially transferred here from my home state school, and you know I just wanted to spend a little bit of time away from home. And I've also known that I've wanted to study international relations from since the time I was in high school. And the program here is absolutely incredible. So I wanted to come here to you know explore new opportunities and study a subject that I'm really passionate about. One thing that I'll miss is definitely the walkable community here. I've loved being able to just walk over to Sadler and hang out with my friends or walk into Colonial Williamsburg during spring and see the baby lambs. Either way, it's just been wonderful being able to go anywhere I need to very easily. I'm definitely going to miss the people. Um, I'm definitely going to miss just kind of walking around campus every day and, and knowing so many people that I run into. And, you know, of course, that's my close friends, but just kind of people that I've had like one class with that I'll still, you know, say hi to and chat with them when I pass. I, I think those little small relationships are really special. I'm really going to miss them. And I'm also going to miss feeling so supported in everything that I do. I feel like if I ever want to try something new or, you know, tackle a new challenge that no matter what I do, the people here are going to support me in doing that. And that has been so special to me and I'm definitely going to miss that, that feeling of community and support. I think the thing I'll miss most about William & Mary is just living in such a beautiful and historic space. Like, no matter where I am on campus, I'm never more than a five-minute walk from something really pretty like the Crimdale Bridge or the historic Wren Building or a great study spot to hang out with my friends and socialize. And it's a beautiful campus and I've really enjoyed it. So I think I'm going to miss the people the most. I've never been surrounded by a better group of people who are, you know, absolutely intelligent, really kind, really outgoing, and so charismatic. My friends here are some of the most amazing people I've ever met, and I'm so lucky to have made the relationships that I've had here. And I think I'm really going to miss being surrounded by all those people every day and seeing them, you know, walking around campus and in my classes as well.